Hi fellow Garage Golfers, Rolly here with Garage Golf. This is just going to be a quick video. I want to kind of give you guys an update on the newest addition to the Garage Golf Studios. Stay tuned and check it out. Okay, thanks again for watching and welcome back. For those of you new to our channel, Garage Golf provides information on golf equipment, golf simulator equipment, and pretty much information on anything golf related. So if you're new to our channel, please consider subscribing. All right, so I wanted to give you guys just a quick sneak peek as far as what we've just recently had installed here in our studio and wanted to kind of give you guys an update as far as what we're gonna be doing moving forward. So uh, I'm gonna be showing you a time-lapse video just to kind of give you an idea on the install process but the product that we just recently installed is the Unicore QED system. It is a golf simulator uh, equipment that basically runs anywhere between $6,000 to $8,000, depending upon what you're looking for and what product that you want with it. Uh, we went ahead and installed the, their Elite system, which is their top system, and uh, wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit more info on that. So a little bit about the channel, though, as far as what we're doing moving forward. We are going to continue doing our SkyTrack videos. Obviously, SkyTrack is a great product and we're going to keep that obviously using that in videos moving forward so Skytrack's not going anywhere but we are excited to kind of bring to you the Unicore system which is an overhead mounted system and uh, something that actually accommodates for right and left hand golfers it's not a launch monitor so it doesn't go on the floor uh, but it is mounted on the ceiling and I'm going to show you guys some more uh, some more footage of that here in just a minute but basically all I want to do for this video is just kind of show you how easy it is to install this system. So it is overhead mounted. There's a little bit of an installation process, you know, versus a launch monitor. But kind of want to give you a sneak peek as far as we had actually had the people from Unicore come in, the Unicore QED system, and install it. So I kind of want to give you guys just a little bit of a sneak peek of that and what was involved. It was actually a pretty easy process. They have a, a team viewer application that they can use at home so they can access your computer and install all the software. And the uh, install for the hardware is actually just one bracket. So in my garage, in our, in our setup here, obviously Garage Golf, this is my garage, uh, all we had to do is basically reinforce where that bracket was gonna be mounted. So I'll show you the board that we used to kind of reinforce it, as well as the Unicore QED system installed here in the garage, in our studio. And then uh, just kind of want to give you guys an idea as far as what's gonna be coming up. We're gonna do lots of videos, lots of side-by-side -side testing and comparison with the SkyTrack to check the numbers. We'll show you some of the simulator footage as well and some of the gameplay. And also just so you know at home, the Unicorn QED system will be implementing with both the Golf Club, the Golf Club 2019, and E6 as well, which includes E6 Connect. So that should be happening here in the very near future. Uh, the Golf Club 2019, as of today's video, is already implemented with the Unicorn system. So just uh, wanted to kind of give you guys some input on that moving forward. Okay, so I thought I'd show you a little bit of a time-lapse video that I took during the installation. Here you see the people from Unicore QED helping me install. What you're seeing there is actually just a bracket, and um, it's pretty easy. There's, a, there's only a few screws that need to go into that bracket, and then you connect the sensor to the bracket, and that's pretty much it. Now, in my case, a little different. You see the wood board there on the ceiling? I had to do that just to reinforce where they were needing to install that bracket because my rafters run horizontal to my screen. So I basically placed that board that you see there uh, just so they had a place to install the sensor. If you have a different setup on your ceiling, something that's more secure, you could be able to just install that bracket directly to your ceiling. So pretty easy stuff, run a couple wires. Here you see a little bit of the software stuff as well uh, and then doing the install in regards to that portion. Now this portion I wouldn't be too concerned with just because they can use TeamViewer and install it from location. They'll do that portion for you. So that's actually pretty incredible and pretty easy to set up in regards to the installation portion and installing the software. Here you see a little bit on the calibration and what they use is a checkerboard to basically calibrate that sensor that's gonna be used uh, in addition to helping you define what hitting area you're gonna have and that's pretty easy because you can click that with your mouse and drag that to where your hitting area is, put a ball in each corner to kind of get a feel for that location and where you're gonna be striking that golf ball. So that's pretty easy to set up and something you can adjust at any point. And then lastly here, you just see us kind of testing out the software a bit, getting a feel, making sure that the golf ball is being read by the system, 
It will give you an audible okay sound as well once it's ready. So you're going to know exactly when you can hit the golf ball. We went through the Ignite program, which is a club fitting software, as well as the Succeed program, which is the actual gameplay software as well. To get a really good feel, make sure that it's fine-tuned. And again, if you're installing this yourself at home, just needing to install that bracket and a couple cords, this is pretty much all you're going to need to do. They're going to walk you through this using TeamViewer, answer any technical questions that you may have as well. Uh, so I was really, really impressed with the setup and everything with Unicore QED. Uh, definitely something that I recommend, and I think that their tech support is going to be top-notch for you at home. It's something I'm really impressed with. Okay, and just a quick close-up of the Unicore QED system. There you see the unit itself mounted to the ceiling. Let me zoom in on that for you a little bit. And there you see the bracket that it attaches to. So if you have a setup that would basically hold that bracket without any issues, you wouldn't need that board like what you see in my system. A little bit still unfinished. I'm gonna be painting and all that, of course. Uh, but just kinda of wanted to show you what I mounted it to. And in my setup here, my rafters run horizontally to my screen. So that's why you'll see I put some screws there to obviously attach it, the bracket. And you'll see more sets of screws there in the back as well. So that's what's basically reinforcing the weight of this Unicore QED system. I did run the wires up through the attic. That was pretty easy. Uh, you could just plug it in directly, of course, and run it along the ceiling. But I wanted to have kind of a cleaner look. So we spent the day yesterday running some wires through the attic. There's two wires. There's going to be a power cord. There's also going to be a basically what equates to a CAT6 cord that will plug in directly to your PC. And that's pretty much the entire process, guys. That's pretty easy. Here you see my projector, and that's where the actual power cord is coming out in the back there. And I did run the other cord down the wall. Sorry about the light. And out of the wall down here, as you see there, and into my PC, which is my laptop that you see there. So just thought I'd give you kind of a quick overlay of how that's set up. But again, there's a QED system mounted and installed. And uh, we're looking forward to doing more videos on it for you guys here real soon. All right, so as you see, uh, we had the people from Unicor in here the other day. We had basically had them here for about four hours, uh, picking their brain a little bit on the product, getting a lot of questions answered, doing the install. The install part basically only took about one and a half hours total. And again, this is something you could easily do at home as well, as long as you have the capability to obviously mount the bracket and run the wires. That's pretty, pretty simple as far as that part is concerned. Uh, but definitely something that uh, I'm looking forward to bringing your way, answering any questions that you guys have at home as well. Obviously, as I said, just a quick video. You see I'm in sandals. Just wanted to kind of get you guys some more details and some input at home. So uh, let us know if you have any questions on the Unicore QED system. We'll be bringing you lots and lots of videos coming up on that as well. In addition to the Skytrek videos, which we're going to be continuing to pump out to you guys, answering any questions you have on that product as well. So. We're just trying to add on to our system here to be able to accommodate more watchers and more viewers at home and uh, bringing you guys some new technology and some new input. So really looking forward to doing that. So feel free to reach out to us at any time with any questions. If you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing to our channel and joining our Facebook group that you see down here below uh, for lots of helpful info and lots of back and forth between us and the viewers of our channel. So. Uh, one other thing, if you saw our last video on the True Strike Golf Man, I wanted to show you, as you see here, we fixed the problem with the putting. So there's a ramp here that you can putt off of on the Unicore QED system. And there's also a ramp here that allows the, those putts to basically roll a lot smoother now. So you'll be seeing that in some of the videos coming up. I have some pictures of that on our Facebook group as far as how we fix that. And uh, so basically a $10 fix, which brings a really nice golf mat into simulator play and uh, something we're excited to continue to use moving forward. So let us know if you have any questions. As always, thanks again for hanging out with us and keep on golfing.